I will say you fade Apple into earnings and we got that's like that graphic oh, there Brian I thought they said you're wrong. no the, no that's the faded that's the faded uh, that's the faded symbol and I'll, I'll give you the reasons why on January 2nd thank you on January 2nd when Apple gave their miserable guidance the stock closed at basically 157.92 Traded down to 142 and a half. It is now round trip. We're right back where we started. But quite frankly, the data hasn't gotten any better. In some regards, it's gotten worse. So I'm not sure what they're going to report on the 29th, but I think the stock has gotten the benefit of a stock market that's rallied, probably an oversold condition. I think you faded into earnings. Bottom line here is you have a company that has recently given you guidance on the 737 max deliveries, which are much better than expected. By the way, that was the one plane that people worried about China. Looks like China's still in there buying. Most importantly, of all the companies that are going to report, if there's a company that's been most predictable in terms of their free cash flow and their ability to generate EPS growth, it's it's Boeing. By the way, at 365 to 375, major breakout level. So maybe you fit, maybe you miss it on this one, but I think ultimately this stock is actually set to break so higher. That's, that's, Trade that's, it. That's, so in this game, I'm a fader of this XOM. I'm a fader of this as well. And primarily, this is more of a view on oil than necessarily on Exxon, but they do trade in lockstep. And if you look at crude oil, somewhere around $55 seems to be major, major resistance. We've had this bounce off. And despite what happened in DC today, we still have a slowing global economy which should not be so great for oil. So I am a fader of ExxonMobil. You know, I think you trade this one into earnings, and I'll tell you why. This stock broke out above 40 uh, in the summer, around August, and it, it broke out of a three-year range here, and there was just a lot of valuation support. There was a lot of excitement about, um, you know, a few different drugs. I think it sold off in sympathy with, like, Bristol, that bad uh, data that they recently got. But to me, this is kind of best of breed. It's a really cheap stock. It's trading at the low end of that few-month range that it's been in right here. So I think you trade this one with poor sentiment down 7% of the year yeah. into the earnings.